today we start our first topic which is fundamental concepts of mathematics but we focus on numbers number what is the number basically number divided into two categories real number and complex number first look at what is the real number so real number is used to describe quantities for example salary height student number so anything that can be used to describe the quantities that one is real number in the other hand complex number what is it so anything that cannot be used to describe quantities that one is complex number so now we focus on real number only so real number two types under real number first one is rational number second one is irrational number what is rational number hmm so this type of number means any number that can be made by diving an integer with an integer we call it rational number for example 0 0.23 negative 0 0.6 and 1 over 4 so that one is a rational number and you can say that a rational number can be written in a fraction form so any number that cannot be written in a fraction form that one is irrational number so this one example for irrational number means when you solve the example the solution of the example cannot be written in a fraction form okay now let's proceed to two types of rational number integer and non-integer so first integer second is non-integer so integer all negative and positive numbers including zero but non-integer any number that in decimal form or fraction form if the number is in fraction form that cannot convert to whole number that one is non-integer so look at here simple example here 4 over 2 that one is in fraction form but you may solve the fraction which is the answer equal to 2 therefore even the number in fraction form but the fraction can convert to whole number that one is integer next proceed to integer so integer two types under integer whole number and negative number so for sure negative number must has negative sign negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 but whole number any number without negative sign including 0 next we proceed to natural number and 0 so here is based on whole number 0 0 value but natural number means that the number is greater than 0 
So the starting number is number 1, 2, 3 and so on. Like this. So this one is a natural number. And here, natural number. But here, the bigger circle here represent whole number. So whole number including zero. But natural number is a subset from the whole number. And last one, even number and odd number. So even number 2, 4, 6, but odd number, for example, 1, 3, and 5. So this one, two categories under natural number. So now we proceed to first example, question 1. Determine whether each of the following statements is true or false. First, all integers are positive numbers. Is it true or false? Recall back. What is the integer? So, integer. All positive and negative number including zero. Therefore, the answer is false. Second one, all natural numbers are whole number. Is it true or false? So, please recall back. Natural number is a subset of the whole number. Therefore, the answer is true. So now proceed to second question. Find the numbers in the set. So this one that belong to the specified set. First, irrational number. So what is the irrational number? Any number that cannot be written in a fraction form. So from the set, what is the answer? Hmm. So let's try. Is it 3 pi? Okay, 3 pi and square root 2. When you solve square root 2, you got 1 point dot 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 dot. So that number cannot be written in a fraction form. Therefore, irrational numbers. Second, integers. So integers, any positive and negative numbers, including zero. So what's the answer? Zero, one plus square root nine over two, and also negative two, five, four. Why this one? Okay, this number categorized as integer. You may solve the number. So, here, 1 plus square root 9 over 2. So, you got 2. So, 2 is an integer. And last one, natural number. So, natural number subset from the whole number. Therefore, 2. Or 1 plus square root 9 over 2 is a natural number. Okay, now we focus on four form of numbers. So first one is decimal form. So decimal, the number written using a decimal point. 0 0.2, 0 0.05. 2.45 then second is fraction form so fraction form okay so this one is a fraction notation a over b a is a numerator and b is a denominator 
number three percentage form so percentage form means part of hundred and the sign used is like this percentage sign for example 20 out of 50 so what is the percentage 20 out of 50 so you may solve like this 20 over 50 times 100 so the answer is 40 percent and last one standard form so standard form this is a general form of standard form a times 10 power b for example here 2150 so from this number convert to standard form so you got 2.15 times 10 power 3 here okay guys now we proceed to second example convert from decimal 2.45 to fraction so you convert you got 49 over 20 then to percentage you got 245 percent so just times 100 from decimal form and last one standard form you got 2.45 times 10 power 0 okay so you can use calculator to convert let's say for second example from decimal form 2.45 okay so this one original question 2.45 convert to fraction here so fraction okay so this one in mixed number you may also write the fraction in mixed number so this one in improper fraction so 49 over 20 and then also can use calculator to calculate percentage just times 100 equal okay so 245 percent and then last one convert to standard form here okay press mode 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 until you find sci so press number two so decimal point here is three decimal point so press three so three two point four five then equal so you got 2.45 times 10 power 0. So same as here. It's easy, right? If you can use calculator to convert this form. Example 3. So this one, from percentage, 40.5% convert to decimal. 0.405 percent means 40.5 divided by 100 then to fraction 81 over 200 and last one to standard form so standard form is 4.05 times 10 power negative 1 now example number 4 so convert from fraction so this one in mixed number 111 over 25 so when you convert to decimal you got 1.44 and then to percentage so 1.44 times 100 you got 
1.144% and last one to standard form 1.44 times 10 power 0. Okay guys, now let's try to solve this example using calculator. So from the original question, which is in fraction form. So here, 1, 11 over 25. Then when you want to convert to decimal form, press here. So you got 1.44. Okay, next. Next is you want to convert to percentage form just times 100 here. Okay, equal. So the answer is 144%. And last one, to standard form, press mode. Okay, so SCI number 2. So how many decimal here is 3 decimal? Okay, then 1.44 equal. So the answer is 1.44 times 10 power 0. So same as here. So now you can solve all this question easily by using calculator. Please try. So, this one is from standard form. Let's say 5.25 times 10 square. So, convert to decimal equal to 525.0. So, look at here. Point zero. So point zero. You need to put zero because this one is in decimal form. So decimal form should be written in decimal point. And then convert to fraction is five to five over one. So so this one. We call back fraction notation, which is A over B. So your A here is 5 to 5 and B is 1. So make sure even over 1, still you must write like this, 5 to 5 over 1. Why? Because the number should be converted in fraction form and last one to percentage form equal to five two five zero zero percent okay so this one you may try on your own how to convert from decimal to fraction decimal to percentage decimal to standard form okay and then try on your own after that, you may check your answer here. Okay guys, that's all about the numbers. Next, we will focus on operation of numbers. Assalamualaikum and da.